welcome children today we're going to start and continue with the same methods of preparation of ketones we have already discussed three methods in our previous video and now i begin with the fourth method that is from acyl chlorides okay these methods will be useful for conversions okay so if you understand them it will be very good acyl means what we already know this point acyl means this particular thing okay this is acyl and we are going to manufacture ketones from acyl chlorides by using a reagent which is quite famous that is dialkyl cadmium dialkyl cadmium look at the formula and look at the name simple dialkyl what is it cadmium what the d block element now in this case we will see that cadmium is a metal carbon is also atom which is a non metal so it will be just writing minus over here cadmium is plus and this is also minus so in this case we can see that the attack takes place because the negative part that is r minus attacks the positive carbon atom because this is positive this is negative why because of electronegativity difference so when once the attack takes place the leaving group has to go out as cl minus so we get r c o c d sorry there's another r let's put dash over here so as to differentiate between the two r's so we'll get r dash plus r c d c l as one of the one of the products let's write r dash on both the carbon atoms naturally there is one more r still intact with our mono alkyl cadmium chloride so it will further attack one more molecule of acyl chloride that is r c o c l and we can show that the reaction will happen like this again the same thing and the c l goes out and the by product is going to be cadmium c l c d c l and the c l also along with it so this is the by product and what do you get here is r dash oh we don't have to put here so we'll be getting r c double bond o and the r dash from from the cadmium chloride reagent so in exam i'm going to directly show this step that two molecules of acyl chloride react with dialkyl cadmium that is going to be uh, cdr2 we can write it like this and we get r dash r dash so we'll be getting r c o r dash two times plus c d c l2 okay we get c d c l2 now let's understand how to prepare dialkyl cadmium in a very quick way because that is also there in the book so we must understand that to prepare dialkyl cadmium which is the reagent for us is very simple we have to take help of grignard reagents for that for example this one what is this alkyl magnesium halide and we are going to react both of them and as we know the carbon is negative here and magnesium is positive here so who is going to attack the alkyl with the negative sign attacks the positive cadmium and we can take this two times let's show step by step so we'll be getting cd r dash cl because one of the cl goes out so we'll get r dash cd cl plus mgx cl one more molecule of grignard you can take r dash mgx r dash mgx and r is negative here magnesium is positive here so same thing you attack the cadmium the cl goes out and the product we will be getting is cadmium attached to r dash r dash plus mgx cl mgx cl so this is a simple technique and as you can see the by product is cadmium chloride we can recycle it we can reuse it and add just grignard reagent to it r mgx two times and i get cd r dash r dash plus mgx cl mgx cl that means if you take if you start with mgcl for example r dash mgcl so you'll be getting mgcl2 so that's that's not very difficult for you to understand i think so balancing is not required in organic chemistry let me tell you so even if you want you can do it or if you don't want you can just leave it like that in the exam so that was the uh, method of preparation of ketones from acyl chloride it's quite simple i think it's not that challenging let's go to the next method that is from nitriles so the next method which i'm going to discuss is from nitriles it's a very uh interesting as well as useful method for exam and what are nitriles we've already discussed 
so it's the same thing we'll take alkane alkane nitrile this is alkane this complete thing is alkane and this is nitrile common name is going to be alkyl cyanide so we are going to react this with grignard reagent rmgx rmgx so that's that's very simple you can see grignard contains nucleophilic carbon atom so the nucleophilic means what negative so it attacks the positive carbon atom over here and this becomes like this because carbon is positive uh, why because it's attached to electronegative nitrogen atom so we will get an intermediate rc double bond n and this double bond write it as negative over here and there's going to be a new bond created so this is that new bond and what happens to this positive part mg plus x okay so just write it over here next they will be forever together because they are positive and negative and this is going to be my intermediate form which is called as an addition product or simply called as adduct and we are going to wash it with water that is called as acidic hydrolysis and the process is extremely simple you just break the bonds which are there whenever the carbon nitrogen bond breaks you have to give the oxygen to the carbon and the hydrogens to the nitrogen so our answer is going to be r c r dash double bond o and we got our answer which we were expecting we were expecting a ketone yes we have got it and from the right side what do we get we get n very carefully write down the answers okay n m g x n m g x double bonds were there so i'll just convert those double bonds to single bonds and i'm going to attach hydrogens from water over there so this is my product which will look like this and look at the water what had what has water given it has given two h and one oxygen over here and naming it's not important over here but let's write the name amino magnesium halide so children if you know the names do write them in exam if you don't know just leave that and don't write wrong names as i've told you so this is my answer so this is a fantastic method i, I think so it's you must uh, understand it's not that difficult let's let's see how to prepare some other uh, ketones so what i'm going to do here is i'm simply uh, going to write a benzene over there and change the whole scene and this becomes my uh, aryl magnesium halide or to be more uh, specific uh, its name is going to be phenyl magnesium halide okay so when phenyl attacks the carbon atom the same thing you know children same exactly the same thing you're just going to knock out this and write phenyl over there and the same answers we'll get rc phenyl ring and then we get a double bond attached to the phenyl ring double bond attached means what what are we getting we are getting aromatic ketones so this is a fantastic method to prepare aromatic ketones just like aliphatic ketones and whatever you want you can just go on attaching here the long long chains you can attach whatever you want over here and the same answer you're going to get and what is the byproduct coming out as you can see the same thing nh2mgx amino magnesium halide so let's take one example and that will make it extremely clear now for example if the examiner has asked you to prepare this aromatic ketone that is propiophenone propiophenone or we can call it as uh, one phenyl propenone okay let's look look at how to prepare this now it's you must uh, you must be knowing it also it's not that difficult as i told you so we are going to take this we are going to take phenyl magnesium bromide plus we're going to react it with this what is that ch3 ch2 c we're not going to write double bond o we are going to write triple bond n attack everything happens in ether you know dry conditions are required because grignard reagents are highly reactive they react with protons if water is present or any protic solvent is present and will change to hydrocarbon that is benzene so that is already started in haloalkanes chapter i think so we'll be getting this connecting with this c double bond n minus mg x 
I've taken BR, so let's write that. Don't forget to attach this. Some children forget to attach. They draw some part and they forget the remaining part. So don't do that. This is my adduct. This is my adduct and once you write a negative, you write positive here or don't write anything on both the sides. But since I've written negative, I'm going to write positive over there. And what is this called as? Yes, adduct. Once adduct is formed, you, what do you have to do? You have to break it with the help of water. Catalyzed with the help of acid. So we'll be writing H2O slash H plus. Okay. The carbon takes the oxygens. The nitrogen takes the hydrogen. So we get the answer. We get this. C, CH2, CH3. C, CH2, CH3 double bond O plus NH2. Two double bonds means two single bonds. Now they'll become. So we'll be getting plus NH2, Mg, Br. So children, these were the... Uh, methods and i think you can prepare any ketone of your choice okay so that was the uh, i think one method which i have finished just now the next method i'll be discussing with you is from friedel crafts assylation so let's uh, go to the last method of preparation of ketones friedel crafts assylation which has been already taken in class 11th and so many times you have done this method acyl means acyl means rco you must understand this example ch3co it's called acetyl okay so let's prepare a ketone by using friedel crafts method you can take benzene or any of its derivatives for example i start with toline so we'll take ch3cocl the reaction is quite slow so we'll be using anhydrous alcl3 or fecl3 as a catalyst you know the role of these catalysts is to accelerate the rate of reaction because they start making bond with the the cl because they are electron deficient so they they start attracting the electrons from chloride as a result chlorine starts pulling the electrons and becomes highly negative this becomes highly positive the moment it becomes highly positive benzene is quite reactive to attack now from ortho position we know that this is an electron donating group ch3 is electron donating ortho para directing group so the attack will take place from ortho as well as from para so this this goes out naturally when the attack takes place the this one goes out and we'll be getting we'll be getting like this ch3 at ortho will be attacking co ch3 like this and naturally one hydrogen has gone out from here as proton so that H and this Cl will form HCl as the byproduct and the catalyst remains unchanged at the end of the reaction. For just short duration of time actually it reacted with the Cl minus of the CH3COCl to form a complex that is FeCl4 minus but once again it disintegrated to give you the FeCl3 plus Cl minus and the Cl minus goes with the H plus. So the, the way you have got the ortho product, same way you will be also getting the para product which we can write it like this CH3, COCH3 that is uh, 4-methyl acetophenone. It will be called as 4-methyl or paramethyl acetophenone. I told you before also that acetophenone is important for your board exam. Okay, So this is 2-methyl and this is 4-methyl acetophenone out of which all the children must understand that always the para is the major product because the attack takes place quite uh, favorably at para position because it is sterically less hindered for the attack as well as the structure which it gives you is a very symmetrical structure so symmetry is quite stable so that was the last method let's discuss one more example of this now i'm going to discuss the last example of uh, friedel craft acylation with you this is nitrobenzene and I'm going to react this with the same reagent that is acetyl chloride. I'm just going to write the names also so that it becomes quite familiar with you. This is nitrobenzene. All of you know this very well. Nitro. Look at the nitro. What kind of group is this? Nitro. It's electron withdrawing group. Electron withdrawing groups are going to be meta directing. So what which carbon atom is going to attack right now in this case is not the ortho not the para but the meta and meta so first meta will attack the catalyst same anhydrous FeCl3 or AlCl3 you can use anything the role of catalyst is to accelerate the rate of reaction by polarizing the CCl bond 
and uh, making the carbonyl carbon highly positive and thus facilitating the new the uh, attack electrophilic attack on the carbonyl carbon so that is the role of it and what product do we get here is we'll be getting no2 from here you have to remove the h plus with the cl so you get hcl and at meta position over here we'll write down cooch3 so here we'll just get one answer unlike the previous example where we got the two answers because we, that was ortho meta ortho para directing group but nitro is going to be a meta directing group so this is going to be your 3 nitro acetophenol as the exclusive product and if you just continue the reaction further you don't uh, stop the reaction then naturally the second meta position also would get substituted so that's we are expected to write only mono substituted product in the board exam so we are going to stop at this stage we're going to stop at this stage so children that's all about the methods of preparation of ketones from my side in the next video we are going to see the physical properties of aldehydes and ketones so till then just revise study your notes not just youtube videos but also you should do a lot of self-study devote time make a proper timetable and more of offline studies you do so chalo till then take care bye god bless